So now we want to look at another operation, multiplication. Very, very basic principle. So if we're multiplying, let's say, 2 over 5 times 4 over 11, then the general rule, very basic rule, we multiply numerator times numerator. So hence, we'll have 2 times 4. And we'll put that over denominator times denominator. So that becomes 2 times 4, which is 8, over 5 times 11. What's 5 times 11? That's 55. Let's do another one. Let's say... 3 over 4 times 6 over 7. Again, rule, I multiply Numerator times numerator, always so 3 times 6 over 4 times 7. 3 times 6 is 18, and 4 times 7 is 28. And can that be reduced? Can it be simplified? Yes, it can be. We can. Divide both of these values by 2 to simplify. Divide 18 by 2, we get 9. And divide 28 by 2, we end up with 14. Let's look at another example. Suppose you're asked to calculate three times 4 and 1 fifth. The best way to go about this is to convert, just like in addition and subtraction earlier, convert both fractions into improper fractions. So remember, three, we can rewrite this value as a fraction by putting it over 1. And 5, 4 and 1 fifth can be written as 5 times 4, 20, and 1, 21. So that's 21 over 5. So again, multiply numerator by numerator. That's 3 times 21. And denominator times denominator. That's 1 times 5. Giving us an answer. 3 times 21, that's what? 63. And 1 times 5, that's 5. And if you want to write that, you want to write that as a mixed fraction, then 5 can go into 63 how many times? 12, leaving us with the remainder of, say, 3. So 12 and 3 fifth, or 63 over 5. Either of those answers, either of those forms would work just fine. But if we have something like 1 and 2 fifth times 3 and a half, again, the best way to go about this is to always convert the mixed fractions into improper fractions. So 5 ones, 5 and 2 7. So the 1 and 2 fifths converted to 7 over 5. And we can, get, we can convert the 3 and a half to 2 times 3 6. 6 and 1 7. So convert that to 7 over 2. And then we multiply two fractions and numerator by numerator. So 7 times 7 over denominator times denominator. So 5 times 2. 
So 7 times 7 is 49. 5 times 2 is 10. And if you wish to write that as a mixed fraction, you don't have to, but if you wish to, 10 into 49, that happens so 4 times with a remainder of 9. So 4 and 9 tenths are 49 over 10. Either of those forms, perfect. So let us look at one more example. So this you have 3 over 5 times 3 and a quarter times 2 over 7. So again, we convert all the all the mixed fractions to improper fractions. So 3 over 5, we can keep that. It's in the form we want it. And 3 and a quarter, we can convert that. 4 times 3, 12. 12 and 1, that's what? 13 over 4. And then 2 over 7 is in the form that way. We want it. All right, so we're multiplying three fractions now. So again, numerator times numerator times numerator over denominator times de denominator times denominator. All right, so multiply straight across. Good. So three times 13, that's what? 39, 39 times two, that seems to be 78. 5 times 4 is 20. And 20 times 7, that seems to be 140. And both of these are even numbers, so I'm certain both of these numbers can be divided by 2. If you want to simplify, I'm going to simplify 78. You guess you can divide by 2, we get 39. And if you want to simplify 140, Divide by 2, we get 70. So 78 over 140 is equivalent to 39 over 70. And we get that by, by dividing 78 and 140 by the same value, 2. All right? So I just want to try one final example. And let me just implore you to pause the video sometimes and attempt these questions on your own. And then you can start and see if we get the same answer. All right, so again, we convert the mixed fraction. So three times four, 12, 12 and one. So we have 13 over three times one and a half, two times one, that's two plus one, that's three. So one and a half is rewritten as three over two. So we have 13 times three over three times two. And a little technique that always works, you can, you can divide both numbers, both of these terms by 3. And, and you end up with 13 over 2, as you can see here. Good. You end up with 13 over 2. Or you can multiply it, just stick to what, you, what we've been doing, 13 times 3. That's 39. 3 times 2. That's 6. And then... To simplify, you can divide both number, numbers by 3. The 39 divided by 3, yes, it's 13. And 6 divided by 3, yes, it's 2. So answer is 13 over 2. And of course, you could have done it up here. And of course, this simplifies to 13 divided by 2. 6 and a half. 